Uh, how, uh, this is John Stark. How do you reconcile against the requirements for privacy, patient privacy? You're going to collect this information. Yeah, this is um, well, what you mean is the data protection probably is very difficult, but this is the most important part for registries. But um, it is possible you have to use anonymous um, information up with patients. So if this requirement is uh, accomplished, though, there's no problem actually. So the registry activity we are right on um, uh, has this ethic committee approval and all um, afford or for for data protection. So this is absolutely um, necessary. Yes. In the United States, the date of the surgery would be considered identifying information. Is that the same in Europe? <laughs> I think it's probably it's dif different, I would say. But um, right now in politics, there's a hard discussion on um, making um, data transfer from uh, the hospital information systems to registry possible without a um, without um, without any forms, so that um, patients have to say no, I don't want any data transfer transfer actively. So if they don't say no. The data will be transferred. Well, this is not now, but maybe and hopefully this is future. Well, Rolf, if I may add a question, thank you very much for this good talk. Uh, uh, talking about the German registry, maybe you can comment on something. We know that the data quality is only as good as the resident who punches in the data. Uh, can you maybe comment? Uh, you, you said um, that we need to automize as much as possible, especially when it comes to implants. Can you comment on your observations in the registry is the weakness is so far as in not automatized some resident just punching in data yeah well the present registry um well, well is probably it's, well it's actually it's not good enough it's a very rare data um just because to the fact that um right now the surgeon or the physician has to input the data manually so this um makes it actually impossible to use big data. But in future, um, on this, we, all, we already have some, um, a, polo, a pilot project on four hospitals um, where we try to, um, to um, use big data um, over interfaces to the hospital information system. Um, some big data means that all the information is out of the hospital information and inclusively the uh, radiological data goes to the registry. And those, this is, this is um, well, what probably happens in, in, in the next few years. So this is, this is really uh, a good registry then. Um, but right now, um, yeah, it's a compromise of, of, um, of the possibility, possibility to data input in, the, in, the, in a poor clinical setting and um, well, to do something at least. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Rolf, in my opinion, it makes sense to establish registries in groups like CIMIC because uh, we are the experts, you know, we, we know how to tailor make those registries and we know the content of the registries. What, what is your thought about this? Yes, of course. And then, well, mm, well, yeah. Actually, every uh, society or every implant has to be followed in a registry. So uh, you, you as well. So the times that we we, we operate on patients, put in uh, implants, new implants, or even old implants are over. We have to follow implants, and uh, especially um, um, implants who are easily implanted, like like the mentioned IPDs, the interspinous process devices, or um, the implants for his eye joint, um, especially if these implants are dangerous to, um, yeah, um, it's just, yeah, so especially these implants have to be put in in the registry. So um, I, I really uh, glad that you are interested in registries and that you try to put in the data out of your society. And I'm really looking forward for the next presentation. Okay, any more questions? If not, we move on to the...